Do you struggle to feel connected when praying, worshiping, studying the Bible, during fasting, or carrying out any spiritual activity? Then, this video is for you. Don't go nowhere. Our esteemed viewers, the message you are about to listen to is designed to revive your spiritual mind and to restore hope and intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Stay tuned and have a blessed moment with us. There's, there's no point sitting down to say whatever will be, will be. Oh God says, we think about demons, we think about Satan, we discuss about them rather than searching from the world. What dimension of the Holy Ghost? And the best way is to find out in the Bible, where did they face my kind of problem? How did the solution come? It reveals an operation of the Spirit that I can tap into. For Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. If a dimension was accessed in Him, that dimension is still available unto us. There were men who were in famine. What dimension of the spirit did they access that granted them authority to say by this time tomorrow? People are crying and ranting of recession. And I tell you there is a supply of the spirit that can bring you to a point of freedom. What did Jacob do by the well that caused animals to look at black wood and begin to mate and their children come with the thought of what kind of technology, what manifestation of the spirit was supplied at that point? What dimension of the Holy Ghost was quickened in David that brought him to a point where God could call him his friend? That's why the word of God is there for us. It's not for you to cram scriptures so that you can get a nice message. It's for you to begin to search. Search out in the spirit. And when you find it, you hold on to it and say, Lord, I have found the dimension of the Holy Ghost that will create a supply for the situation that is killing me. And that's why the Bible says, the entrance of thy word to get light. You hear us shout every time the word, the word. Because as you stay with the word, there is a brooding of the spirit. He knows what dimension of you that he needs. That's why sometimes when you are studying the Bible, he tells you, okay, get up and begin to pray. And you're praying in tongues. And scriptures are coming. Jeremiah 17 verse 9. You're writing, you're praying. He's showing you what supply of his person will bring you the miracle you need. When you find it, you will command authority. Let me tell you, when you find it, you have found it. The anointing from that scripture will come upon your life. Has no respect for your age. Has no respect for your gender. There is a dimension of the spirit that moves Solomon to offer a sacrifice that compels something about God. The Bible says Solomon offered a thousand bond offerings. Do you know what one thousand bond offerings are? It's not ordinary. You can be in a situation and you are dying of it and the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might will just come and breathe upon you. And he will tell you, go to the Bible and you find out where certain operations of the spirit were done. And you say, now, Go and sow this seed to so 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 person and watch the wonder working power of God. You are not just sowing seed, you are responding to an operation of the Spirit. Are you understanding what I'm teaching? It's the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might. For every operation in the kingdom. It takes the supply of the Spirit. Hear me friends, it's vain to attempt to do anything in the kingdom without the Holy Ghost. He is the lifeline, the one who connects us with victory in the Spirit. That's why we totally depend on His person. Imagine if we had to use our intellect. How much do we know in ourselves? But for the supply of the Spirit brings a dimension of wisdom, a dimension of grace, a dimension of power, a dimension of favor, a 
dimension of glory and beauty and honor and dominion and authority and access. How can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind? How can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit? How can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind? There's power at work in you, changing everything. That's what God is doing tonight. In obedience to Christ, He's changing everything. It's vain to try to do God's things without understanding. How can you walk? When you don't know the way of the wind How can you run When you don't know the way of the spirit How can you fly When you don't know the way of the wind There's power at work in me Changing everything In obedience to Christ Shapa Kappa Kadia Changing everything Ain't obedience to Christ You're the Holy Ghost You're the Holy Ghost Spirit of the living God You're the Holy Ghost Center of the King of Kings
victory. We position ourselves for healing. We position ourselves for prosperity. We position ourselves for greater levels of power, greater levels of the anointing, greater levels of grace, greater levels of wisdom, greater levels of favor. The emergence of champions. Men who understand the ways of God. Men who understand the the operation of the spirit. Come on, you are praying. You are praying. You are praying. You are praying. For serious business. Enough is enough. With that sickness, that terminal disease, tap into the spirit of resurrection. The operation of the spirit of resurrection. Come on, pray. Enough of demonic oppression. Enough. Every supply is in the presence of the Holy Ghost. He is the blessing. He is the blessing. He is the blessing. He is the blessing. I will never be the same. I came tonight for my destiny. I came tonight for my life. I didn't come to preach. I came to bless the demand. Let the nations know that your God is alive. Let the nations know that your God is alive. Stop tolerating things. Change them. Bless the demand. On the oppression of the spirit. That will command that level of You came tonight for Koinonia. God is upgrading your life. You will never be the same. So when we walk away, we find the same. We are the victorious generation. Hear me. We are rising. I'm telling you, you are rising. You are changing. You are changing. You are not the same. You are changing. You are changing. By the Holy Ghost, you are changing. You are changing. I like you to see in the spirit you are changing. You are not the same. You are not the same. There is a release of the spirit. There is a surprise. But this teaching has granted you access to begin to operate.
strong manifestation of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Are you ready to begin to speak over your life right now? Are you ready to begin to command? The Bible says, where the word of a king is, there is power. Hear me, hear me. You are not just speaking alone. You are speaking in partnership with the Holy Ghost. You are speaking in partnership with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. For the next few minutes, I'd like you to radically speak God's word. Send it to your life, address issues. If you need to carry your Bible, carry your Bible. But begin to speak. Change. Change. I command change. Greater grace in my finances. According to the word of the Lord, my path is as a shining light. from Lagos and he said the Lord told me to tell you that the economy of this land the economy of this land will literally be handled by the members of ENI I don't have any ministry by us it's a word that came from my friend in Lagos but this is how we pray so this is how we pray so so we are going to pray we are going to pray and say everything that is not of God we take it away command increase command victory come on go ahead and pray greater miracles greater transformation the word of God is being taught we are not derailed in the name of Jesus we cast arrogance we cast fear that arises hey 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 by the spirit by the spirit the supply of the spirit pray for the minister pray for the heads of the past by the spirit pray for the prosperity pray for the power 
and that of our family members. Are you listening to me? It's our goal in this place that the least person here will be empowered so that we don't talk about money. We do other things. Are you following me? There are other very important things in the kingdom. It's amazing. Every church you go to, they are talking about money. Money, money, money. Satan is distracting us with our needs and we forget our assignments but we are going to pray we are going to say not this place there is a shout of the king go ahead and pray for yourself command increase prophesy speak over your family many of our families are suffering come on pray enough is enough we place a demand that spirit that was upon Isaac that made him so in the land where there was famine that spirit that was upon Solomon that made him the richest man that spirit that was upon Job that made him the richest man in the east enough is enough this is a wealthy place according to Psalm 66 verse 12 thou art God's man to ride upon our heads we went through fire for thou has brought us into our wealthy place thou has brought us into our wealthy place pray Psalm 66 verse 12 pray Psalm 66 verse 12 thou has brought us into our wealthy place a land of plenty we have enough to feed the poor we have enough to do the works of the kingdom we refuse to pay for money we refuse to be in need the Lord is our shepherd we are not in one the Lord is our shepherd he is our bread provider all earth we speak unto you Job said as for the earth out of it comes bread we command the goodness of this land to flow to us the goodness of the land because we are willing and we are obedient we eat the food of the land we eat the food of the land favor from the north favor from the south favor from the east favor from the west favor 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 by the spirit favor by the mercy of God favor by the grace of God the oil of favor the oil of favor overtaking you overtaking you more than enough more than enough for our past project more than enough for everything we need to do more than enough more than enough we are stepping into abundance the 
kingdom advances in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. You are going to pray and prophesy to yourself. Hallelujah. This is what I hear in the spirit. The Lord is saying, tell them to prophesy. That is your season of light. The Bible says, in your light, we see light. Hallelujah. He said they looked up to him and their faces were lightened and they were not ashamed. For when there is light, there is no stumbling. When there is light, there is precision. There is accuracy. It's a time of light. Light. Go ahead and pray. I'm rising. Prophesy. I'm rising in the light of God. The light of His glory. The light of His countenance. The light of His power. I arise in light. I prophesy in light. I teach in light. I minister in light. I reign in light. I run in light. I fly in light. God is that light. His word is that light. 